heartbreak, drama, and excitement ensued over the weekend at the World Center of Racing. Hi everyone, I'm Kim Kuhn. This is Rearview Mirror. NASCAR may have been at the beach, but nobody was relaxing because, well, restrictor plate racing. The NASCAR Xfinity Series took the track on Friday night under the bright lights of Daytona International Speedway. Kyle Larson held control of the track, leading 40 laps and avoiding two violent wrecks, the first on lap 82, and the second a nine-car tangle on lap 97, which forced the action into overtime. A total of 15 cars exited the race due to crashes, leaving the field thin but ready to roll. Into the last lap, Kyle Larson held the point with Elliott Sadler hot on his tail. Seconds from Larson clinching the victory, young Justin Haley dipped low, pushing three wide and passed the number 42. It looked like Haley was triumphant until the replay revealed he passed below the yellow line, a clear violation. Larson was a little confused at first, but ultimately victorious. I honestly didn't even think I had a shot of winning that until you know, I pulled over here to the lug nut check and I could see the big screen where he you know, kind of went below the yellow line. So a uh, little bit of a shock for me. Wow, talk about mixed emotions. The fans, though, were clearly enjoying themselves. So let's check out the Ford Hall of Fans Fan of the Week. My first car was a Mustang that my dad had bought from the body shop that was wrapped around a telephone pole and fixed it up for me and I had that one. It was a 1988 Mustang. It was pretty sweet. We've been coming out since 2011. This is our, so our technically eighth trip to Daytona. We started off over there in Lake Lloyd and now we're over here and uh, we found home here. We, the site's bigger. We got room for the bigger pool. It's our third pool. We're up to 18 foot. Ryan Blaney, Mr. Ford Driver, came by last year, jumped in our pool, so that was pretty awesome. Chickens were found at Walmart, and we just kind of bought them just to kind of add to our entourage. Kind of gets everybody's attention and makes them stop and have conversation. Are you the world's greatest NASCAR fan? Here's your chance to prove it. Go to NASCAR.com slash Ford and tell us why you should be inducted into the Ford Hall of Fans. You can win a new Ford vehicle plus a VIP experience at the 2018 Ford Championship Weekend. Saturday night, everyone was saying, there goes that Jones boy, as Eric Jones captured his first Cup Series win. The 22-year-old battled Martin Truex Jr. into a second NASCAR overtime. It felt like deja vu as Major Rex took out half the field for the second night in a row, with only 20 of the original 40 cars running at the end of the race. The entire Team Penske crew was taken out in a turn three wreck on lap 54, along with Bush Pole winner Chase Elliott. Fast forward to the final restart on lap 167, Truex took to the point but couldn't keep it as Eric Jones pushed forward, trying to stay in front of the field. On the final lap, Jones got a big shove from Chris Buescher, taking the lead and holding on for a .125 second victory over Truex. Jones only led one lap the entire race, but it was the only lap that mattered. Eric was ecstatic as he took the checkers. Oh boy. How about that race, boys and girls? Huh? <laughs> what is, that was something else, man. Here's looking at you, kid. That'll do it for Rearview Mirror. Check back in next week as all three series give Kentucky a run for its money.